So with the latest patch to Power World or the latest patches, they patched the ability to capture those tower bosses. Now I understand it was a glitch, it was a bug in the first place, which allowed us players to capture these dudes. And I have no problem with them fixing this bug. But the problem I'm seeing many players mention is the fact now that this is fixed, you can no longer get and pass on the few exclusive skills tied to these tower bosses. Well guys, in actual fact, that may not be true. I've discovered something that I haven't seen anybody else talk about, a hint that these certain skills may actually become available via other sources. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. So to start guys, the latest patch version 0.1.5.1 is now live on Xbox. Now if you missed the video, me covering these patch notes, you'll see them on screen now. So yes guys, if you're at school, you're at college, you're at work, when you get home and you play on Xbox, there will be an update waiting for you for Power World. But let's get back into the topic of this video guys. So yeah. It's a bummer that they fix is solely on the reason of these exclusives being tied to these tower buses. Skills like Dark Wisp from Victor and Shadow Beak, Multi Cutter from Lily and Lilene. I mean, it sucks now. The only way we could have got these skills uh, previously to this patch was to capture these tower buses and breed them and pass these skills on. I mean, yes, when you caught these tower buses uh, in regards to the online calculators and how breeding works in the game, they didn't really follow the same outcome. But if you did, for instance, take a Victor and Shadow Beak and breed it with another Shadow Beak, you would get a Shadow Beak. Same with Lily and Lilene. If you bred Lily and Lilene with another Lilene, you'll get a Lilene baby. This is how you'd pass this multi cutter skill on, and then you'd breed that Lilene with other sources and create offsprings, which could also have this skill and with breeding being a massive part of power world especially for end game players like myself i mean there's nothing else for me to do besides trying to breed the perfect pals and the perfect skills when said skills ain't available it kind of puts you off trying to breed certain kind of pals especially dark type and grass type pals and that's what we are seeing now with the fact that they've eliminated the chances or even the option to capture these tower bosses and pass on those skills now with the latest patch, they actually fixed a problem they introduced with the patch before. With patch version 0.1.5.0, breeding was broke. But with the latest patch they dropped last night, the version 0.1.5.1, they reverted the problems they caused, the problems they introduced with breeding in the previous patch. So that's a good, good thing. I can basically now get back to breeding. But the bug was certain powers in the game through breeding were guaranteed a certain passive skill. I was actually told that breeding uh, these eggs and hatching them, the game actually thinks that you're capturing powers from the wild instead of breeding them. That's why powers come with that certain passive. And it meant that powers like Anubis come with Earth Emperor every time you hatched it. Uh, powers like Blazemot come with Flame Emperor. Lilene came with uh, Spirit Emperor. Dig Toys come with Hard Skin. Uh, Captiva came with Coward and things like this. But they have reverted this now, guys, so you can go ahead and breed and you should be good and the powers won't have that guaranteed passive. I mean, in some instances, it's a good thing. I mean, you, uh, most of the time, you want Earth Emperor on um, Anubis. Definitely on Blaze and what you want, Flame Emperor. But yes, this is something they have reverted now, so you can go ahead and breed as you did before. Now I've gotten kind of like a little off topic here, so back to my original point of this video. Certain skills tied to these tower buses, well actually, they might not be. Now I have a feeling of certainty that these skills will become available for us to obtain without glitches and apply them to our pals. Now you may be wondering and also thinking this dude better hurry up and cut to the damn chase. Listen guys, I need to hit that 8 minute mark for YouTube's algorithm. Cut me some slack. Okay, so yeah that chase. In a recent post by Pocket Pair themselves, they actually showcase and it's very apparent that powers beside Victor and his Shadow Beak are using that Dark Wisp skill. So in the Power Deck number 64 Power World video, which showcases Lunaris, it actually shows you within this video two Dark Powers using that Dark Wisp skill. You firstly see how Sapphire using the skill and then you see Lunaris using the skill. 
check this out on screen now. So what this tells me is people, either that these cheeky devs have been using that tower boss glitch and capturing and breeding these powers, or they are dropping hints that these skills won't always be exclusive and locked to tower bosses. Now it was suggested to me on a previous video that these skills among others should have a chance of dropping from tower bosses upon you defeating them. I mean, say for instance, they drop that skill fruit which to me makes absolute perfect sense. Uh, give them their rare drop chance, this entices players to constantly farm them, which is just another amazing addition to the game where players can never get enough of uh, this kind of thing. So yeah, introduce certain skills to these tower bosses that have a rare chance of dropping them upon you defeating them. This is the perfect thing to do. I mean, you could always apply them to these skill fruit trees. We see a spread around the map. But I think certain skills that are kind of powerful, like multi cutter and the Dark Whisk skill, there should be different means of getting them, probably a rarer chance of getting them. And I mean, this is an absolute great idea. I even pushed this idea onto Bucky, uh, but obviously, judging by the latest video that they posted in regards to uh, Power Deck number 64, where they showcase Lenaris, and they do have other means, they do have other ideas about this Dark Wisp skill. I mean, Let's be real here, guys. They could have showcased a multitude of dark skills within this video. Why did they choose to showcase Dark Wisp, especially being used on other dark powers, especially around the time where they nerfed the ability to capture these tower bosses? Answer me that question, people. So, yeah. Now, the game was obviously data mined on PC, and it was confirmed that right now these skills are truly exclusive to these tower bosses. So right now in the current version we play, these cannot be obtained unless you already have said tower bosses in your possession. If you don't, guys, you can't now capture these unless there's a new glitch I don't know about. But yeah, unless you already have these tower bosses, these skills are locked out of the game for you. Now Pocket Pair are obviously working towards that update they spoke about on the roadmap which you guys can see on screen now. I feel with this new update with the new powers they plan on adding with that PvP uh, Pal Arena which I cannot wait for. I feel we will see the inclusion of these exclusive skills and possibly more added in. The only thing that I worry about is the game does indeed need new content but it's only been a month so I wouldn't expect it soon but at the same time there are still many many issues with the game and how it performs on console which I feel they will want to fix before dropping any new content. So it will be a while before anything new is added uh, including these skills so yeah. It's a shame, but I do feel the game needs to be in a decent enough state before they do start adding content to it. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this down below. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.